What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan and today we're going to be breaking down this Forex strategy that has returned over $25,000 over a five year period, but get a load of this without any leverage. A lot of people like to use the RSI for their trading and this video is directly using the RSI to build a profitable strategy over a five year period, both in sample and out of sample, which we're going to get to later in the video. To build a profitable trading system, we need to be able to backtest our work. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Now, all I ask from you guys, if you like this video, to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who is looking to be profitable in Forex. This is gonna be a simple to use strategy that you can use right now. And if you stay till the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how I built it and how you can use it right away. Now guys, I'm only a nerd, not a financial advisor. So keep that in mind, this is not financial advice. Well, with that said, Let's jump right into it. So in this video, we're going to break it down step by step on how to make that profitable trading system. And guys, keep in mind, there is no AI. There is no machine learning. There's no algo. Okay. This is just simple ideas that are back tested and optimized. So let's jump right into this. What we're going to be using, what we're going to be trading on is the USD CAD. And it's a very simple strategy. We're going to be selling the USD CAD when the RSI goes above 70 and we're going to be buying the USD CAD when the RSI goes below 30. Now keep in mind guys, when you're building a profitable trading strategy, you need to be able to back test it, or you need to be able to create and verify that your strategy works objectively. So we're going to do that right now. What we're going to be using is one of my favorite programming languages R to do, to, to take care of this task. So let's jump right into it. So what we have here is USD CAD from January 2012 to December 2014. And what we're doing here is we're using the RSI with a 14 period look back to buy USD CAD below 30 and sell USD CAD above 70. Now what we notice right away is that we only have a few trades, we only have like uh, five or six trades and our PL, which is right here, is negative. We've actually lost $10,000 um, and we start, we start off with $100,000. So we we're betting $100,000 each trade of USD CAD and we were down $10,000 at the end of, you know, let's say uh, four and a half years. And you know, what? this is like, this is what our PL usually looks like in our trading account. Am I right? You can see our max drawdown here was $15,000. It just doesn't look, it doesn't look very pretty. That's not where this ends. The reason we also need to think, why did I choose the RSI here? The reason I chose the RSI is because USD CAD is mean reverting. Meaning, when we look at the picture of it, it goes up and down, up and down, up and down, but stays within a range. And that's perfect for the RSI indicator. The RSI loves trading assets that are mean reverting, and it works very well on them. In this case though, it's not looking very good, but like I said, it doesn't end here. Keep in mind guys, as we move forward, these green little arrows mean we're buying, and the red arrows mean we're selling. So, for example, on 2012, May 22, we decided to buy a hundred, we decided to sell a hundred thousand dollars worth of USD CAD at 1.0175. Now let's see, how do we know to use the RSI 14 though? That's, that's the default RSI 14, a 14 period look back. How do we know to use that? Why not use the RSI 10 or the RSI 6 or what about the RSI 20? Well, that's where we have to test it and use all the, um, and look at all the RSI indicators to see which one is the best and look for a stable region where we have a lot of, we have a, where it makes a lot of money and the RSI 10, for example, is not much different than the RSI 11 or the RSI 12. We have a stable region. So that's what we're going to do in this call right here. Now, right here is each different RSI and its corresponding PL. So for example, the RSI 10, which is right here, had a PL of zero. So an RSI 14 right over here had a PL of negative 10,000. And we can see that right here. We were using the default package, which is the RSI 14. And you can see that it had a PL right around here of just under 10,000. So when we're looking at this graph here, we can say, well, this region looks pretty stable, right? This region up here doesn't look very stable. And having an RSI look back period of larger than 15 is really gonna only give you a few trades a year. So we want more trades, we want a stable region. So this region looks really good right here from seven to 12. 
right? The PL is not great. It's, it's actually zero. It's actually flat, but it's the, it's the best region that we have. So we're going to go with the RSI 10, right? It's right in the middle of the range and it's actually has a little bit um, of a positive PL. So we're going to go with that one and let's run it. Let's run the code with the RSI 10 now instead of the RSI 14. So here we're making all our trades. And now you can see we have a little bit more trades over the same period from 2012 to 2015. But the PL is still not great, right? You know, we had a nice, we had a really hot run and then it just dropped off and we ended up making zero dollars at the end of a four and a half year period. Not very exciting, right? Our max, our max drawdown was negative 10,000. Not a very exciting um, strategy for us. But can we take it one step further? I think we can. What we can do is we can see, well, how bad were the trades that went against us? And how good were the trades that went for us? So we're going to run that right over here. So in this graph, each arrow is a trade we took. So in this case, for example, and a green sim uh, signal means it was a profitable trade and a red signal means it was a negative trade. On the Y axis, we have our profit and loss. On the X axis, we had our max drawdown during the position. For example, let's say that we bought USD CAD and right away it dropped 3% and then it moved up 5% at which we exited. That trade on this graph would be, we had a 3% drawdown and 5% total profit and it would be colored green. So what do we notice from looking at this graph? Well, clearly, if we take trades and put a stop loss at 3%, we remove some of our worst trades, right? Think about it like this. This trade over here had a max drawdown of 7% and it never came back. We actually, we actually lost over 6% on that trade. So it seems like by cutting our losses at 3% really works for this strategy. So let's give that a shot. Let's do the same RSI. So we're buying when USD CAD RSI is below 30, selling and shorting when it goes above 70, but we're also putting a stop loss in. So let's say we buy it, RSI goes below 30, we buy USD CAD, and then USD CAD drops 3%, we're out of our position. So let's run that code right now and see how we would have done. We're making our trades. And would you look at that? The strategy has become profitable. We've removed some of the worst trades in our sample. And we can see that, you know, once we once we have a stop loss of 3%, the, the strategy starts looking good. So we have actually made $10,000 in this trade. But the better news is our drawdowns are so small. They're only $4,000. They're two and a half times less than without that stop loss. So now all of a sudden we can actually leverage more on this position. Now, are we done now? Is this, is this the end of our strategy? And the answer is no. This, we can't optimize on this sample and then go and, and trade it in real life. We need to use our strategy on a sample period, in this case, 2012 to 2015. And then we need to take that strategy that we've just built and optimized it around that period and use it for something that it's never seen before, which we call out of sample data. So now that we have our strategy, let's go and test it from 2015 to 2020. So we're doing our trades. We're going 2015, 2016, 2017, all the way to 2020, actually to yesterday's um, trading date. And here we have it. It's worked out of sample as well. So this is a profitable trading strategy that you can implement right now. We've taken quite a bit of trades. Our max trading PL, our max PL is $40,000 without any leverage on $100,000 worth of USD CAD. Our max drawdown during that whole period is only $10,000. So we made four times our risk during this period. So given this information, 
you guys can go ahead actually and start trading this right now. Now, we can't say that this is for sure gonna be profitable in the future, but we've done enough analysis that we can say it has a good chance of being profitable in the future. I think it was Mark Twain that said, history doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes. So keep in mind while trading the strategy. And just a reminder guys, this is not financial advice. This is just a strategy that has worked in the past, has worked out of sample, and could possibly, most likely, will work going forward. So I hope that uh, helped you guys, and give it a thumbs up if you really liked this video, and if you learned something new, that'd be fantastic. It really supports our channel. Talk to you guys later.